Amano Iwato, aka the new Azufu, is a problem. Shino Buddha has revived, resurrected the fort itself. The fort? Is that a good thing? <laughs> Bro, all this deck wants to do wipe your opponent field, just wipe your opponent field, and get this guy to the field. A 1 9 monster that prevents any effect from activating other than uh, spirit monsters. And who, who plays spirit monsters? No, nobody does. So basically, the game plan of the deck. Oh, my game plan uh, as, as of the age of overlord is to end on uh, the field spell iwato in a hand and uh, a trap card in our graveyard which, 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 which you guys which, you guys are gonna be see and with this we now can just summon our shinobus during the opponent's turn wipe the field or the back row and summon iwato aka the fort itself as a fort <laughs> as a fort which neutralizes the opponent's effect. Bro, this is just straight crazy. This deck going first is a problem. This, it, it, it can possibly be toxic. I, I'm saying. No. <laughs> and you know what's funny about this, right? Normally, you, you get carried by top decks because top deck has some spicy effect. And you know, you guys have seen this spicy combo. So I guess I, I can go off ramble, rambling while, while the combo is flexing. If you haven't, I featured this similar combo uh, a, a few videos back. So you can definitely check it out. So like I said, the basis of the deck is, is, is or the combo is just and in the field spell so you can end on this the uh, stars of aligning milky way you basically want to get this card in the graveyard right and uh have this two cards in hand which is quite easy quite easy the various lines to get these things uh typical ritual deck they just search those cards like crazy but yeah so you you you, you basically want to do that <laughs> and, and i'm a little so excited i kind of lost, lost my chain of thought i don't remember what i was talking about <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. But yeah, it's we, we are just gonna be showing, featuring, showcasing the deck at uh, what it does now. We're playing against Unchained, uh, one of the best best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, what can the best deck do when it can't activate monsters effect? Nothing. <laughs> so yeah, the opponent plays monsters. We we know what the deck does. You know what what, what we're gonna do now? All right, activate Milky Way, banish, get this card on the field, uh, Baron. Bro, it doesn't really matter. Iwata reaches on the field instantly. No monsters effect, bro. You are not gonna be getting your monster effect in the graveyard. Who are you trying, bro? <laughs> All right, they, they, they go in the DVD line. That's fine. That's fine, bro. That's. Do, do you see this trap card? Salvation here. Yeah. Did this trap card banishes one spirit monster and ends and so just, just just in case if the opponent happens to have a monster hand in 1900 which most times after you split the sea and, and return the cards to the hand you won't <laughs> because you, you know you can allow them to play Yu-Gi-Oh you're gonna allow them to play Yu-Gi-Oh you know re hurt for their resources burn for the resources then you're gonna summon the Baron and just split the sea like Moses right <laughs> Now, what this is funny, right? This card returns to my hand. I'm gonna get the effect of the Starlight and I'm gonna get the effect of Salvation, which allows me to pop a card. I'm gonna pop this card, and yeah, bro, you, you won't get any effect because as a fort is on the field. I had a fort that uh, my opponent effects would be activated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. The cards are returning over so spicy. Gonna, I, uh, yeah, I, I know, guys. I, I, you know, it was a little bit of misclick. The plan was to get rid of this card, but on this channel, you guys already know, misplays are considered flex. <laughs> misplays are considered flex. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Channel four back. <laughs> oh, I just went on a tantrum. Like I was saying. Top decks tend to uh, carry you, and you know when you make misplays, you you, you cannot won't lose because the top deck is so expensive and so good. Okay, I want so expensive because you know it's just so good. But this deck, yeah, I think I misplayed like every game I played in this deck. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, this is a minor misplay because I was supposed to tribute this card. Yeah, but that's fine, bro. See the resources in my hand. You see the monsters in my hand. You you, you know what, guy? Hold the Baron, my guy. Hold the Baron, my guy. Here we are playing against the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. And for some reason, it's uh, it's looking easy. I, I don't know. Is, is the deck good? Is it not? I know it's, it's you guys to try. I've been playing it, and this is like the cheapest version. It's been feeling really nice, really nice. Let's let's uh, continue driving to see if maybe see if the deck is really good. I don't know. Ooh, what a busted hand! This hand is super busted. Yeah, but uh, all right, guys. Uh, quick tip: uh, playing this deck. Uh, 
with the incantation line which this deck super like benefit like a uh, next level I, I know most of the ritual decks benefit a lot from them uh but this deck really benefit from it so uh you you, you don't want to play another ashable card first like uh <laughs> yeah i i, I should have just went with preparation there's no way no boys not ashing this card uh because it doesn't really matter. I'm 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 better off getting incantation line uh, rather than this card. So yeah, we, we, it, it, the end board won't be bad, but it won't be what we would want. So I I, I can like basically settling for the old school shinobu lines where you just set up a bunch of monsters on the field and you know a strong defense. So we we're gonna set up a very strong defense. Uh, in hope the uh, opponent doesn't play through, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, listen, I, I won't call this a misplay, just bad judgment, um, but then again, it, it just goes to show the flexationness of the deck, how much the deck can flex, and um, I guess we, we, we're gonna learn, so I, I'm basically what I'm doing, I'm just preparing for next turn, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, it, it, it's somewhat risky to do, but we don't have a choice, I, I, I play dumb, I play dumb, so, you know, this risk a YCS. Just imagine you can win a YCS by just doing bad chess. Oh but that's fine. That's fine. Let's just see how the deck plays through this. Alright, so I banished these two cards, you know, special summoning this to get two extra tokens and these two monsters back on the field. So we have like a six monsters on the field. We're playing against. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's Cash Terror. Nobody plays Cash Terror, do they? Yeah, Van Crystal. Alright, playing against Van Crystal. Alright, so yeah, the, the, deck, the deck is a mid range deck. It, it doesn't do anything crazy, but this deck is been, has been performing very, very good as of recent. Uh, yeah, this deck is really irritating. But you know what I like about Shino Birds? The other decks I hate playing ever against because the, like the grind games uh, are so good. They play so many good cards. Like, it, like you, you just cannot end the game. Yeah, but Shino Birds don't really care about that because it, it, you can, during your opponent's turn, clear their field, set up an Azafort. During your turn, clear the back row or field some more and set more cards and OTK. Like the deck, can you see that? I did all this, my hand is filled. <laughs> man is real. During my opponent's turn, I'm gonna do more craziness. But here's the biggest flex, right? We are playing as a fort, which a level four monster, 1900 attack, which means uh, we can just do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we can just basically sell some of the monsters that says your opponent cannot play maybe 80 percent of Yu-Gi-Oh, and then proceed to do what the opponent cannot do, as in uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh monsters effect. <laughs> So we know this flex net because uh, we we know Vanquish Soul are just monster oriented deck. Uh, the fact that this trap card is in playing most likely doesn't align with what's happening in the field, <laughs> bro. Hold your monsters in your hand. <laughs> hold your monsters in your hand. Clear the field. Now, the issue here is the fact that we normal summon Iwata, which clearly means during the end phase is gonna return to our hand, and our opponent can maybe play Yu-Gi-Oh during his turn. Or can they? Now, the fact that we were only missing one aspect or one equation, just this one calculation of the equation to flex during the opponent's turn, because you know we had this card but we didn't have a, a ritual card in our hand, we now have a ritual card in our And I want to get this card on the field because I don't want Vanguard Show playing Yu Gi Oh! because they play Yu Gi Oh! with monsters' effect. So while all these monsters are returning, man, I'm getting the effect of our star line, which gonna return this card and our monster <laughs> so now i have folders and the ritual spell man i'm gonna go for the baroness flee the set card and baroness is now gonna special summon the other fort from the deck oh my goodness ggs my guy because yeah there, there's no way you're gonna be doing anything <laughs> except summoning yeah a monster 1800 attack you cannot return it to your hand, you cannot search, you cannot do anything. Why? Why is this card? We, we do have our own version of as a fort. It was a fort. The opponent had a fort. <laughs> I jump kick that like button if you guys enjoy it. But that's not. You know what guys? Now it's time to straight up this super flex. You guys wanna see the deck super flex? Yeah, I, I take it you guys are saying yes, right? Yeah, definitely. Why not? Alright guys, we are gonna flex beyond. This this combo goes beyond the standard combo. Right? We, we, we are not only setting up to interrupt the opponent, but we are putting the beefiest, the baddest. Border. This 
budget, cheap version can do. Right, yeah. Maybe if you play not on expensive cards, you maybe can do better. But yeah, we we, we play the cheap. Come on, bro. We, we play the cheap. We. <laughs> Like I said, yeah, the incantation line is straight up crazy. The extension. And you guys already know, I, I, I love my ritual deck. So, incantation is always gonna be in my ritual deck because it's like the best ritual support ever. Extender switches for almost free. Why not, guys? Why not? So, yeah. And, uh, it's so nice already you have the water in hand you guys already know also we have the salvation in hand which means we don't even have to search it so we kind of protected like, oh my God, like, like but this line is super flexible but if you guys really want to see uh, the explanation of this like i said just check the combo video i explain this line yeah we, we're going to an ip masquerade banishing these two cards which means they, these two cards are going to be special summoned during our standby phase which gives us more folders for the ip Ooh, bro so we now we can play during your opponent turn like crazy so the plan basically here is like yeah so based on what this guy does or is playing you know I'm, I'm i'm maybe gonna break his back with the underlord underworld yeah but oh my goodness bro we we, we we get the dark ruler no more like the fun just got sucked out so i'm like okay one i have no idea what this deck does so let's just see the end board or something <laughs> such as a trap card oh my god it has a counter trap card uh but yeah at, at this point we, we, we don't really matter so i'm, I'm yeah, we, we don't really matter yeah that's fine i'm just gonna have some fun here nah bro we get this during the end phase let's have some fun now oh my goodness Return this card out of what? Return to the feel our Iwato. The effect, bro. No effect. <laughs> there you go. But uh, what's the funny thing? This card is gonna get a pop. Yeah, this card also has a pop effect. When cards are returned to hand, we get a pop. We get a search here or return to hand with the feels. Ah, oh, my goodness. No, oh, bro. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, yes, I know you guys want the deck profile. But you know what? If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe. Next video is gonna be up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the deck is fun, I must say. Take care guys, next one.